What is up, guys? Everything Collectibles, I'm back with part six, I believe, of unpacking all the Disney, remaining Disney cars. So let's get started without further ado. Um, Batoka, I don't need to take that one out right now, then. All right. I'm just going to take a small handful. And what we're going to do is just... All right, moment of truth. This is DJ with Flames. Oh, this is my metallic DJ. Found him at a thrift store years ago. A little beat up, probably well played with, but... Hey, you know, it's cool. Oh, here's my DJ with Flames. So there's DJ with Flames. Dexter Hoover with no checkered flag anymore, so that's disappointing. Um... Ah, this purple Ramon came from in the 2012 Radiator Springs Classic gift pack that you would get at Toys R Us, and it came with Luigi, Luido, and Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen. And I would call that a variant because it is a slightly lighter shade of purple. Um, here is Ryan inside Laney. Uh, I think I got that at thrift store. Same thing for the Gen 3, or the stock car, toe cap, car 3 racer. Here is um, Kelly Beanbright. Forgot about her. Um, Drift Party Mater. Um, shoot. Road Rumbler McQueen. So, um, those came in the case video, that, uh, the highlight case video that I did back in, shoot, it's been months, like almost a quarter of a year, so... Um, that was a long time ago. Same thing with this guy. He came in that too, the Muddy McQueen. I also found this original Cars, uh, or uh, this original Ramon color changer. It was very badly beat up, but I took a chance on it at a thrift store. Um, this must have been from that case too. I think this was Ido San or something. Not sure, something like that. Um, oh yeah, and this one's actually kind of rare. It's the Dirksen uh, Cars 3 Stock Car Racer, so that's good to have that one. Um, Rex Reveler, been released a few times. So I got the Cars 3 Dirksen. Okay, um, there's the Vuzine Next Gen. Here is the Accurate Fred. This is the 2022 version. I um, was able to pick him up finally. Here is... Oh, this is one of those weird Holly Shift Wells. I don't know. I got a lot of random stuff. Um, that is part of the Mattel Metal line, I guess. But All right, here is the Mac Semi. Um, or the Mac Cat, I guess. The Mac Semi. Um, portion. Here is just a Chinese leak less that I found. I felt bad. I, you know, I didn't want to leave them behind. Probably won't use that one in my display, but I will use this guy in my display. This is one of the trunk ovs. And cars too. Um, there's Pit Stopasaurus. There's Finn McNissel. Uh, this thing. This thing's kind of stuck and someone screwed this up, so I'll just have to... I don't, I don't know about keeping that one out. I'm more of a Mattel collector, Mattel metal diecast collector than anything else. All right, we have Charlie Checker without a bag, so that's the 2022 version, Thailand. This is my um, original Wingo from 2007, so he's been a constant. Uh, Vietnam Danny Suarez, so interesting. Uh, Brick Yardley, um, Cars 3, Vital Line. We're almost done with one of the last later, so we got talking like Shrek. Shrek. A lot of random jazz here. Tim Treadless, I guess I didn't put him in a bag. Um, oh, this one's cool. This is the Radiator Springs 500 Lightning McQueen. 
It's like a mountain of cars on my left here. Um, oh yeah, this is a uh, cool. This is Finn Mc an original Finn McNissel. My original one actually um, didn't have the mirrors, so I might be using this one now. Leo Cruz. Eh. Um, the heck? This might be the China variant of the original. Oh, this is the Thailand version. I don't know why I got that, but I don't really need it. Um, but sometimes, it, I don't know. If there was like one car left behind, didn't want to do that. Okay. Here's where the fun happens. This is my um, China Green Ramon that I think I got in a lot on eBay so I can get the Thailand Snot Rod. Um, that was a little while ago. A lot of these are the Ramones here. So here's Ghost Light Ramon from the Walmart 8. Good times, 2007. Um, here's my original 2007 Yellow Ramon from the Supercharged. So that one's been with me since the beginning. Um, um, green, I don't even, Artist Ramon. Or was a body shop Ramon? I don't know. It's kind of lazy. They released that one with like out of paint gun. Come on, Mattel. Okay, here is the China snot rod. So technically that's a variant, in my opinion. You have to remember, Mattel started off making them in Thailand. So you have, for snot rod, you got Thailand original, China original, and then you got the China with the lighter shade in his um, engine. And then you have... Uh, then you have the Thailand version. So you got like four versions of Snot Rod right there. Speaking of variants, here is the second variant of Old School Ramon. I'm not a fan of this one. I love the original one over this one. It has the paint job on the original pops. Here is another one that's been with me since my first year of doing Disney Cars, which was in 2007. This was one of the Christmas cars I got. What the hell is that on there? Okay. There we go, got that off. So this is Hydraulic Ramon, originally called Red Ramon on some of the packaging variants. That's the OG, if you will. Here is a second year of collecting car I got. And with this, so this is actually the original Lightning Ramon from 2008. Notorious for winning Peg Warmer of the Year in 2016. You found him everywhere, it was annoying. All right, cars that we don't need to take out. Here's the Purple Rim Boost from China in 2016. So that is variant number three of Boost. Gearston Marshall, Rod Torque Redline. So I did acquire a lot of cars um, from thrift stores that I needed. Here's Van San. Here's my Radiator Spring Classic Chick, the first cars. One car I got when I got, finally was able to get cars, one cars again in 2012. Here's my second Ferrari. Um, but I found a thrift store, you know I'm not passing him up. Um, K Pilar de Rev, the all peg warming team, um, slider patrol seat. So K Pilar de Rev and May Pilar de Rev are just very disappointing in general. Here's a fair game. So I was able to finally find one on a mint card months after its original re-release. So, but anyway, K and May Pilar de Rev just eventually became notorious for just peg warming everywhere and it was it was crazy you know like they were they, they, those releases of, they were just so good and then they end up being so horrible at the end um so same for Claire Gunzer there's like so many cars that like were like because I'm part of that Cars Diecast Club group on Facebook and like, a lot of these guys, even this guy, Cave McQueen, like, they were, like, so hyped when they first came out. Like, oh, I gotta get it. Like, Greebles, too. And then now they're just peg-warming everywhere, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, that was the 2012 Raider Springs Classic Sarge. I would say that's a variant. You gotta count every variant of Sarge. And Sarge has, um, he's got Thailand, Lead China, Non-Lead China, um, Racerama, this will be where I cut it, um, and then Racerama Classic, 
and then the 2013. So he's got seven versions, that's crazy. So without further ado, I'll see you in the next round.